Welcome to Lakers News Fan Portal. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Drop a comment below and let us know which city you're watching from. Today's Lakers news focuses on potential trade targets for the Los Angeles Lakers. After a disappointing playoff performance against the Denver Nuggets, the Lakers are feeling the pressure to revamp their roster this offseason. Let's dive into the key players the Lakers are considering to enhance their championship chances. First on the list is Zach Levine. Known for his offensive prowess, Levine is a two-time All-Star who can bring a lot to the table. However, his hefty $43 million salary for the 2024-25 season and his injury history raise red flags. Last season, Levine appeared in only 25 games, averaging 19.5 points, 5.2 rebounds, and 3.9 assists per game. His shooting stats have also taken a hit, with a 45.2% field goal percentage and 34.9% from three-point range. While Levine is a lethal shooter and capable scorer, his substantial contract could hinder the Lakers' financial flexibility and ability to build a balanced roster around LeBron James and Anthony Davis. Next, let's talk about DeMar DeRozan. A Los Angeles native, DeRozan has long been associated with the Lakers. However, acquiring him would require a sign-and-trade deal due to the Lakers' cap constraints. At 34 years old, DeRozan is showing signs of decline. Last season, he posted his lowest field goal percentage in six years and did not earn an all-star selection. DeRozan's playing style doesn't mesh well with the Lakers' needs. He isn't a three-point threat and relies heavily on having the ball, which could disrupt the Lakers' spacing and playmaking dynamics. Moreover, his postseason track record raises concerns, as his teams have historically struggled in high-stakes playoff scenarios. Lastly, there's Jeremy Grant. The Lakers are prioritizing two-way players this offseason to address their roster imbalance. Grant fits the bill with his 40% three-point shooting, ability to drive to the basket, and strong defensive skills. However, his contract presents a significant financial burden. Set to earn $29.7 million next season with his contract extending through 2028, Grant would become the third highest paid player on the team. While he brings valuable skills, overpaying for Grant could limit the Lakers' ability to sign other key contributors. Grant is a solid player, but not a franchise cornerstone, which makes his high salary a risky investment for the Lakers. To summarize, the Lakers are focused on making smart moves to strengthen their roster without compromising their financial flexibility. Zach Levine, DeMar DeRozan, and Jeremy Grant are all talented players, but their potential acquisitions come with significant risks. The Lakers must weigh these risks carefully as they navigate the offseason. Stay tuned to see how the Lakers manage their trades and who they ultimately bring in to complement LeBron James and Anthony Davis. Hey Lakers fans! Welcome back to Lakers News Fan Portal. Today, we're diving into some potential trade targets that could seriously boost our chances next season. Let's talk about Zach Levine, DeMar DeRozan, and Jeremy Grant. I'm excited about what these players could bring to our team, and I want to share my thoughts with you. So, grab a drink, sit back, and let's chat. First up, Zach Levine. Man, this guy can score. He's got that explosive energy and incredible shooting skills that could really ignite our offense. Imagine him alongside LeBron and AD, he'd be an amazing third option. Sure, his contract is pretty hefty, but if we manage to get him without giving up too much, it could be a game changer. Plus, having another star who can create his own shot would take a lot of pressure off LeBron, especially as he gets older. Next, let's talk about DeMar DeRozan. He's been linked to the Lakers for what feels like forever. DeRozan is a local guy, and I think his experience and scoring ability could really help us. Yes, he's not the best three-point shooter, but his mid-range game is top-notch. Having DeRozan on the team could add another dimension to our offense. He's also a solid veteran presence, and you can never have too much of that, especially with our championship aspirations. I know there are concerns about his fit, but with the right adjustments, he could be a great asset. Finally, Jeremy Grant. This guy is the definition of a two-way player. He's a solid defender and can knock down threes, which is exactly what we need. Grant's versatility would be a perfect fit for our team, especially with our need for strong wing players. His contract is a bit of a concern, but if we can make the numbers work, adding Grant could be huge for our defensive schemes and overall team balance. He's not just a role player, he can be a significant contributor on both ends of the court. Overall, I'm really optimistic about these potential moves. 
Sure, there are risks, but the potential rewards are huge. If we can bring in one or more of these guys without breaking the bank or losing too much depth, our Lakers could be right back in the championship conversation. It's all about making smart moves and finding the right pieces to fit around LeBron and AD. I trust our front office to get it done. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching Lakers News Fan Portal. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment with your thoughts. Don't miss out on more Lakers news and updates right here on our channel.